Today I'm going to show you how to use Thymovar. Hello, I'm Glyph Rees. Welcome to Winning Faith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now, today, on one of my new sites, I've got some big nukes. They've built up not to full size hive yet, but they're on the in between stage. Now, there's no honey to come off these sites, and we're in early August, and I'm going to treat all these hives with Thymovar. It's a great uh, summer treatment. This is a long acting treatment. So you got to you do put two treatments in the hive We put strips in today now. It'll be in here for three to four weeks Take them out or put another treatment in and they'll be in there for another three to four weeks So this is a great Summer treatment if you put in bees for the head and etc. Then the, This is going to be too late in the year to use that but if you're taking your honey off in August then this is a great Varola treatment. Now, what I really like about this treatment is it's organic. So if you're an organic farm or you're an organic uh, beekeeper, obviously in the UK we haven't got that kind of status, but in Europe, etc., where some beekeepers, they are organic, this is an authorized organic treatment. Now, if we look at Thymol Varwas in it, it's thyme, so it's thymol. Uh, it's, it's a natural product, natural ingredient and this kills the varora over a period of two brood cycles within the hive. That's why you've got to use two treatments. You put these thymova in the hive over a period of time, then that kills the varora and they fall off and that reduces the population inside the hive ready for winter, which is exactly what we want. Now the way thymova or thymol kills the varora mites, does it all, like I said, over a period of time and it destroys the protein within the varora cells and then they die so it's unlike treating your hive now with a chemical but the chemical kills the varora mites but then leaves a residue or it doesn't kill all the varora mites and then they can build up a resistance to it using this kind of product it's very very hard for the varora mites to build up a resistance to it because it works totally different to um, your ordinary type pesticide uh, based treatment so if you want a treatment that's uh, organic, um, very mild, that you want to treat your bees and be, get more effective results, then this kind of product is what you want to do. But you've got to take the honey off in August and you've got to put these strips in in August. Put them on in September. If the weather goes a bit too cold, then you might not get the same kind of effect. But uh, any, any type of site nukes or you pull in your honey off in August, then this will work perfect for you. And just a note, this is suitable for polystyrene hives and timber hives and any type of size hives. So if you've got big double broods, the treatment will be a little bit different. You just put more strips in. If you've got single nukes, you just put a little bit less in. Or I'm going to be treating these today as a full size hive, even though they're not quite there. Uh, they're too big to be treated as a nuke, so these are going to get the, the, the full single brew treatment, which I'm going to show you now. And uh, another thing, what's great about this, say you order too much of Thymovar, as long as you don't open the pack, these have normally got a shelf life of over two years, so there's no problem in using them for the season after. Mm. And another great way to use these Thymovar is, say you've got a swarm early spring or mid-summer, a bit of varora mites on them they're not going to produce any honey to you they're going to be in a single brood box slap a bit of time of art on them and you'll kill most of the mites off them leaving them perfectly healthy and great to utilize within your apiary that's enough talking let's treat some hives right there so you really smell the thyme oil we just cut in the packs open and we're left. We've got a bag full of strips like this. That's all I'm going to do. You can see this is a growing nuke. Take one strip and we're going to cut it in half. I'm going to put one there, one there. You don't need a special eek. Some uh, thymol based treatments, you've got to have a special leak 
to roll the space here we don't but that's how simple that treatment is one strip cut in half you're going to put it in there you're going to leave that on top now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to feed this hive straight away so by the time i come to the second treatment in three to four weeks time they won't be need i won't need to feed them at all and um, they'll be gearing down for winter so i'm just going to put a feeder on here now put a bit of feed in and that's job done So here we are, we've got a brood and a half here. So what I'm gonna do here is give it one full strip, cut in half, and then another half strip. Now if this was a full double brood, it'd be one full strip there and one full strip there. So it'd be four of these half strips. But brood and a half is going to have three half strips or one and a half strips. Super, super easy to use. Here we are in with the nuke. And that's just going to get half a strip like that. Well, that's it. That's how easy it is to use time of our super easy product to use and it's a great product to use as well especially if you don't want to use hard chemicals etc then this type of thymol based treatment is the way to go and it's got a lot of good things about it like i've just mentioned in the start of the video a lot of pros the only negative of using this treatment is like with everything there's pros and cons to every kind of treatment this is a longer acting uh, treatment and you've got to use it um, in the summer more than anything taking the bees onto the heather, taking the honey supers off, the cold weather comes in, this, this treatment will be a bit too late for that. But like I said, if you're taking your summer honey off in August, then there's plenty of time to use this. And it's great to use it in the season on swarms and nukes, etc. Very, very cost effective. This stuff isn't that expensive. And it's, uh, the residue on it is uh, zero withdrawal, but don't use it with the supers on. So you can treat the hives, Later on then you can add the supers once the treatment is completely off the hive. There's a zero withdrawal lid on it, so you don't have to wait a certain amount of time before you put your honey supers on. That's always great because uh, I don't like using any type of treatment that's got a high withdrawal rate. It uh, means there's, there's, there's residue within the hive. Um, it takes longer for that to exit or leave the hive or bring that down to safe levels. With this treatment, uh, that's not an issue at all. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video uh, and I've educated you a little bit about uh, one of the three ways that you can treat for Varora. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Now don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to put a new video every week. Thanks for watching.